Hi everyone, this story is called Percy Faces His Fears and it's written by Lisa Luria. Percy Faces His Fears Percy the Penguin waddled toward the Carter Station. Carter Station Harbour. Hi Telly, Percy said to a large turtle. Morning, Telly called out. Is it 10am already? It is, Percy replied. Can't wait to teach today's swim class. My students are going to learn the backstroke. A few moments later, several animals began arriving at the dock for the swim lesson. Hi, Hardy, Percy said, greeting a baby hog. Do you think you can take your swimming tube off today? Hardy frowned. But I need it to swim, she pleaded. Otherwise, I'll sink. No, you won't, Percy said gently. You're a stronger swimmer than you think. Let's try. Okay, Heidi said, trying to wiggle out of the tube. Allow me, Ollie the octopus replied. I've got an extra arm to help. Percy loved teaching swimming to the little animals. After the lesson was over, he headed over to meet his friend Delilah, the dolphin, for lunch. When Percy had fin- first finished at Carter Station, he did not want to swim at all. He was just starting to learn how to swim in the Galapagos Islands when he got trapped in an oil spill in the water. Even though he had been rescued, he avoided the water. He was too scared. Percy's island needed repair after the oil spill, so the animals that lived there had to be taken to different wildlife refuge centres around the world. All the board, a stork called out, pointing to a large boat. Percy started to cry. What's wrong, my dear? His mother asked. I'm (laughs) scared of the water, Percy said. A flamingo named Franny overheard their conversation. Some of the flamingos and I are going to fly to a place called Carter Station, Franny told him. Come with us. A friendly walrus greeted Percy and his family at the dock when they arrived at Carter Station. Welcome, the walrus said. I'm Wally. Let me show you to your rooms. As they walked along, Wally told Percy, there is another penguin from the Galapagos Islands that I'd like you to meet. Percy's father gave him a big hug. We'll be in the room right next door to you, right next door if you need us, he said. Wally brought Percy to his room. This is Peter, your new roommate, the walrus said, pointing to a penguin. He was reading a book. Peter looked up and smiled at Percy. Hi there, he said. Welcome to Carter Station. Percy put his backpack down and said quietly, thank you, it's very nice to meet you, but I'm so tired, it's been a long trip. Moments later, Percy was fast asleep. The next morning, Peter woke up excited. Time to go swimming, he called to Percy. Uh, I don't feel so well, why don't you go on without me? A few days passed. Peter kept inviting Percy, but Percy kept finding excuses not to go swimming. Soon, Peter stopped asking. One day, Percy heard one of the penguins say, I can't wait for the beach party next month. (gasps) Me too, another penguin cried. And did you hear that Suki the seal is going to perform her tricks? She can catch a ball with her tail. Hearing about the beach party made Percy sad. He walked over to the dock and stared down. Just then, a dolphin popped her head out of the water. Oh, hello, the dolphin said. I'm Delilah. What's your name? Percy, he said. I'm new here. Want to come in the water and swim with me? Asked Delilah. I'm I'm scared of the water, Percy whispered. I could teach you how to swim. And then you wouldn't be scared, Delilah said. I don't think so, Percy said. Everyone can learn new things, Delilah replied. How about we meet here in the morning and give it a try? Okay, 
Percy said, but he wasn't so sure. Every morning for the next few weeks, Percy met Delilah for his swimming lesson. Percy started out by putting his feet in the water. Little by little, he felt more comfortable. One morning, Delilah encouraged Percy to take the floaties off his wings and jump in the water. Let's go for a swim, she told him. Hold on to my fin. I don't think I can do it, Percy said. Let's try, Delilah said softly. Percy took the floaties off his wings and grabbed the dolphin's fin. Delilah slowly swam with him around the dock. Percy discovered he wasn't scared. He was actually having fun. Every day, Percy became braver in the water. Delilah taught him the backstroke and how to dive off of the dock. He realised he loved swimming. Percy's parents stood on the beach while Percy was practising backflips. Looking good, Percy, his dad called out. Way to go, his mum cheered. Soon, it was the day of the beach party. Percy couldn't wait. He wobbled over to the group of penguins. Hi, Peter, he said. Want to go for a swim? Sure, Peter replied. I'll race you. Attention, everyone, a pelican suddenly called out. It's time for Suki, the seal's performance. At that moment, Suki appeared. She balanced balls on her nose and tailed and performed amazing dives. Heads up, Suki called out to Percy, tossing a ball in his direction. Percy laughed and hit the ball with his wing. Nice one, Percy, Franny the Flamingo exclaimed. Delilah spotted Percy at a picnic table. Having fun? she asked, smiling. Thank you, Delilah, Percy said. You made me brave enough to swim. You just needed someone to remind you. She gave Percy a big hug. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.